Hi everyone, welcome to my live creative time. My name's Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Papercraft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Welcome, welcome, it's great to have you here with me. Thank you for joining me, uh, if you're joining me live or if you're watching this back on the replay. Um, today I uh, am going to be making for you a quick and easy card, which is great for um, those of you who may be in a hurry, who might not have much time, or those of you who may be new to card making. So um, while I'm just waiting for a few people to jump on, I'm just going to bring this up on my iPad so that I can see all of your lovely comments there. So as you're jumping on, say hi, let me know that you're here. It's always great to craft along with friends, it makes it so much more fun. <laughs> okay, so we'll bring that up. All right, there we go. Okay, great. Hey Lee, how you going? Great to have you here today. All right, now also too, if you like what you see today, feel free to share this video with your friends who you think might be interested in this. Um, if you're not already following my page here on Facebook, be sure to click on like and follow at the top of the page. That would be awesome. Um, that way too, you'll get notified when I post up new videos um, or new content. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube later on, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like what you see and you'll find that down. Um, oh, I actually haven't flipped my screen. You'll find that over on this side. I'll have to flip my screen in, the, in a moment. Um, yes, over on the right hand side, you'll find the subscribe button. And then if you click on the bell icon as well, then that way you'll get notified each time I post up a new video. So all good. Hey Fee, how you going? All right, so let me just flip my screen so everything will be around the right way for you. There we go. I forgot to do that. I was rushing to get online. There we go. I was rushing to get online and um, yeah, forgot that one little step. So there we go. Everything should be around the right way for you now. When I hold something up, you won't be reading back to front. <laughs> Hi Diane, how you going? Great to have you. Oh, fantastic. You'll ring me later. Awesome. Um, just to let you know, Diane, I do have a Zoom meeting from 12 till about 1, quarter past 1. So if you want to ring about 1.30, then I should be free for you then. That would be awesome. Thank you. I look forward to talking to you then. Hi, Robin. How are you going? Great to have you here today. Hey, Megan. Happy Thursday to you as well. Thank you so much. It's great to have you here. So I have got, as I was saying, I've got a quick and easy card today. Um, really lovely, but one that you can just whip up um, really easily. And uh, we're going to be using a little bit of very vanilla cardstock today. I don't think it gets enough love, the very vanilla. We use a lot of um, basic white in our projects, and I know I do as well. But um, we're going to give very, very Vanilla a little bit of love today, so that should be good. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can use um, that instead of using your basic white. Now let me just tell you, today is the very last day of our seasonal sale, which has been really, really exciting. So at the moment, if you purchase cardstock, ink pads or dyes, you get a discount on those. So cardstock is 10% discount. Um, our classic Stampin' Pads are 15% discount and the, all the dies in the annual catalogue are 20% discounted. So that 20% that discount, that's actually what um, demonstrators get when they first join Stampin' Up! So uh, that's a really great bargain. So if you haven't taken advantage of that yet, be sure to take advantage of the seasonal sale. It finishes today. Thursday the 18th of November. It's just been like a flash sale for three days. Um, so be sure to take advantage of that and grab yourself a bargain. Stock up on some of those basic supplies like paper and ink. Um, get some more colours into your collection with the ink pad uh, special as well. 
um, because I know that a lot of you are gradually building up your collection of colors. So it's a great time to be able to pop them into your um, into your stash. So if you are shopping with me, you can go, and I'll have this down on my desk for you later, but you can go to my online store. If you go through to my blog at mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com and up the top, you'll see a shop a shop button. So you can click on the shop button along the tabs at the top. That'll take you straight through to my online store. And be sure to use my host code. So this is my November 2021 host code. Be sure to use that when you're shopping with me. Um, and all orders over $50 get a thank you gift from me for shopping with me. So there you go. So I'll have those down on the desk when I tip the camera down so that you can um, see those. So don't be worried if you missed that. Um, now, the other thing is too, another great thing that is happening during November. So we've got another promotion and this one runs up until the end of um, November. So the 30th of November, but we've got the start with savings promotion as well. Now, what this one is, is the starter kit the stampin up starter kit has been reduced and that never happens stampin up very very rarely reduces the price on the actual starter kit so normally the starter kit is 169 dollars during november stampin up have reduced it to only 130 dollars plus you still get to choose 235 dollars worth of product to put in your starter kit so you choose 235 dollars of products whatever you want of the current products and you pop them into your starter kit, you only pay $130 for that. And then on top of that, you'll get free shipping on that order. And then after you've placed that order, you will get the 20% Stampin' Up! discount on all of your, uh, or demonstrated discount, I should say, on all of your products. So not just on the dies that are on special today, but on everything, you'll get that 20% discount and you can build that up to 25% discount over time if you choose to as well. So that is a great saving. Now, the other thing is too, today, you can combine these two, set, these two promotions so you can take advantage of the products that are on special and put them into your starter kit, which means you'll get even more for your money. So it's a great time to join Stampin' Up! Um, and I'd love to have you join my team, my beautiful, beautiful team. Um, we have a team of beautiful, beautiful people and we have such a lovely community and so many friendships have been formed in our community. Um, we have a lot of fun together and we get creative inspiration from each other. Um, we get together each month and sometimes we have additional get togethers as well where we just craft along and just have some fun. Um, it's a super great community. So if you would like more information about that, I can give you more information about my team and um, the things that we do. And I love to spoil my team. I give them prizes and um, gifts and I send them cards and all sorts of things. So um, I love to look after my team. So if you would like more information about my team and what I have to offer my team, then um, feel free to get in contact with me. I do have a lot of one-on-one -on -one contact with my team as well. Um, so I love that. I love having uh, building those relationships and making new friends and getting to know people. I really love that. That's um, a big part of my team and of being the, um, the leader of my team is really getting to know people and um, building friendships. So I love that we have these opportunities with Stampin' Up! It's just so awesome. So yeah, so consider that. Um, so as I said, you can choose $235 worth of product, only pay $130 when you purchase the starter kit and join my team. And don't forget, you can add the seasonal sale products into that starter kit and get even more product in your starter kit. So um, send me a message if you'd like more information about that and I would love to um, help you with that. All right, so I am going to flip the camera down. Now, I do have a meeting to get to at 12 o'clock, so I can't run late today. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera down onto my desktop so we can get started, and I'll show you the project. And I'm going to show you where to find some of those sale products um, in your catalog as well so that you know where exactly where to look for them. Or if you're looking online in my online store, um, you just go to the category. So there'll be a paper category, um, there'll be a die category, 
um, and there'll be ink category for your ink pads as well. So if you're going there, then that's where, um, oh, Megan put in a beautiful big order yesterday, a $300 order. That's awesome, Megan. Fantastic. You would have got lots and lots of those beautiful products. You got all the dyes from your wish list. That is awesome. Um, that's great. Yes, Megan says she loves that about Stampin' Up. It's a family no matter where you are in the world. Yep. Much like the Seattle Seahawk 12s. <laughs> That's her favorite team. <laughs> For those of you that don't know. Oh, wait, before I, before I tip the camera down, I've got something exciting to show you. So also too, one of the things as, as um, being part of the Stampin' Up! family, um, uh, we get the opportunity to get our hands on brand new catalogs before they get released to the public. We also get the opportunity to purchase brand new product from those new catalogs earlier than everybody else, which is super cool. And guess what I got today? Not today, I actually got it yesterday. Well, actually, I think it came the day before. No, it came yesterday, that's right. And I unpacked it last night. But look what I got, brand new catalog. Now this catalog is not released yet, so I can't show you the inside, but I can show you the front and that'll give you a little bit of an inkling of some of the brand new products. But this one is gonna be the mini catalog for January to June, 2022. Now as demonstrators, we can start ordering from this from the 1st of January. So we'll be able to get some of the products on the from the 1st of January in the pre-order. As demonstrators, another great reason to join my team now because you'll be able to order from this catalog too. And not only that, but celebration is also coming in january and february and i've got the brand new celebration brochure as well and we'll be able to get some of the celebration products next month as well in fact i already got one of them the other day because i went to a stampin up event called on stage and you've probably if you've been following me you will have seen me post all about that over last weekend i already got one of the celebration items Look at this, how cute is this? The little awesome otters. I'll be playing with this one really soon. I haven't cracked it open yet. Um, it's set, haven't applied the stickers to the stamps or anything, but it's a red rubber stamp. And I got this one for free. I earned that one for free. So how cool is that? I got some other new products as well. Um, I'll just give you a very quick sneak peek of some of them, but I'll go through, or oh, this is only some, I've got some other new products um, from this catalog as well from the mini catalog, but I got some beautiful rainbow dies. So they're coming I got an awesome Embossing folder. So this is the hive embossing folder 3d embossing folder That's going to be really cool and there's some products that are going to coordinate with that. So I can't wait for those You know, I love my bling my ribbon and my bling look at these gorgeous iridescent what are they called? Iridescent rhinestones. And depending on which way you uh, tip them as to which way the light hits them, as to the colorations that you see in them. So if you hold them one way, you see blues and greens. If you hold them another way, you see um, pinks and oranges. It's really amazing. There, oh, there you go. Can you see the pinks and oranges there? How cool are they? And then that way you can see the blues and the greens. I love these. I'm going to be using them a lot, I think. And then we also got these really cute heart and home doilies. So in here we've got um, doilies. I think they're in Smoky Slate, Misty Moonlight, and that one is um, Cinnamon Cider. So there's the three different colors of doilies in there, and they're super cute. So that's only some of the new products. I've got others of the brand new products as well, but I've actually got them um, put away. They're over there in my trolley, actually. You might even see them. Oh, uh, maybe not. There's a whole heap of other stuff in that trolley too. <laughs> so that's just a very quick sneak peek. But if you're a customer of mine as well, or, or if you don't have a demonstrator yet and you would like a copy of these custom, uh, these catalogues, let me know and I'll add you to my uh, catalog list because the catalog order, uh, sorry, the order for these catalogues will be entered um, by the end of this month. 
and so then they'll be sent out next month to my customers now if you're a regular customer of mine you customer of mine you will automatically get sent that um, from me you automatically go onto my list but if you haven't ordered with me for more than six months or if you're new to Stampin' Up! and you don't yet have a demonstrator, then certainly let me know and I can add you onto my list and send you out those catalogues, which would be awesome. And oh my goodness, there are so many beautiful products in this one. My wish list is going to be long. I haven't actually um, put any of my wish list tabs in there yet. That will be coming. I think I'll be doing that over the weekend coming. I haven't had time this week. This week's been so busy. So there you go. So there's just some quick little sneak peeks of what's coming up. So great time to jump on board with Stampin' Up! and um, get your hands on all of those lovely things early. <laughs> uh, all right. Hey, Angela. Great to have you with us this morning. How are you? Helen's here from New Zealand. Hi, Helen. Great to have you with us. Who else have we got? I'm just scrolling back. Hey, Matthew. Matthew's here today too. Great to have you. How are you going? Haven't seen you for a little while, Matthew. You must have been really busy. Hi, Robin. How are you going? All right. So let's see. I'm just scrolling through to see if I've missed anybody else. Um, don't think I've missed anybody else yet. Uh, oh, Megan said she just got her PPP. That's her product purchase premiere. Um, we get to, when we attend um, Stampin' Up! events, we get to order early. So we get like a pre-pre-order, pre, uh, an order prior to the pre-order. <laughs> so, so that's really cool. That's exciting, Megan. Awesome. Okay, all right, so I am going to cover up the camera and tip the camera down so that we can get started because I've got to finish by 12 o'clock today. So I better get my skates on. All right, bear with me a moment. I'm going to cover up the camera and I'll tip that down so we can get started. All right, here we go. So just be a little bit squeaky while I adjust my stand here. And get that ready for you. Oh, actually, I haven't got that up high enough. I think that's better. All right, tighten everything back up. Okay. Let's get that straight. Hopefully that's straight. And I'll adjust my lights so you can see what I'm doing. Tried crafting in the dark once before when we had a, uh, a storm and a blackout. And it wasn't so good. <laughs> so I've got to have good lighting. There we go. All right, so let's move these. So remember, any of the products that I show you today or if you want to shop with me during the sale, here is how you can do that. If you go to my um, online store and go to mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com. Hang on a minute. My camera is not sitting straight. That's at a really weird angle. Let me adjust that, sorry. Is that better? Got a weird angle going on today. There, is that better? That was looking a bit strange. And I still don't think I've got it straight. What's going on today? Some days I get it straight, straight away and then other days it takes a bit of tweaking. There we go. Hopefully that's better now. Oh, I think that's looking better now. Good. Okay. Yes. So shopping with me, go to my online store um, via my blog at mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com. You can click on the shop button that's up on the top left and that'll take you through to my store and you can have a browse around there. All right. So let me just um, tell you where to find some of these products that are on sale in the seasonal sale we've got our cardstock our inks and our dies and i will show you where to find them in the catalog so if you've got the um, annual catalog and if you don't have an annual catalog please let me know if you don't have a demonstrator you're working with because i will get one to you um, so if you open up to pages 122 and 123 that's where you're going to find all of the um, color collections 
So this is where you can find the list of colours um, for purchasing your cardstock and your stamp pads. So you'll find all the cardstock, all the codes for the cardstock is along that top, um, that top row there on each of the colour ranges or colour collections, okay? And then the next row down is your classic stampin' pads, which are also on special for 15% off. So you'll be able to check for those there. Now, if you are looking for, so that's pages 122 and 123. And remember, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments. If I happen to miss them, feel free to send me a message um, so that I can get back to you, or you can send me an email as well. All right, now, so that's the, our standard colors, and you've got the prices there as well. Now, if you want um, a combination pack or an assortment pack of the different colors, you can get them in the color families. So we've got the brights, the neutrals, the regal, regals, the subtles, and then we've got the two in colors. And you'll find the cardstock assortment there, so in that first column there. And then this column here is the 12 by 12 cardstock. Okay, so that's where you can find them on page 126. Now, don't forget too that we do also have um, our note cards and envelopes and our memories and more cards. So this is the memories and more cards on 127, page 127. So we've got the memories and more cards there. Um, currently, the stock of the basic white um, cardstock is all out of stock, okay? But we still have the memories and more cards, and we also have the note cards as well, note cards and envelopes, which are over. Just finding which page they're on. I didn't have that one tabbed, I don't think. There we go there. So paper basics on page 136. So that's where you'll find um, some, other, some other of the papers as well. But if you're looking for the note cards, note cards and envelopes are still available um, and that you can still get them in the basic white. But as I said, we're using vanilla today too. So I'm gonna show you how you can substitute the vanilla for the basic white if you're unable to get the basic white. Now, let's jump over to the dies. So dies, um, the die section starts on page 156. And then you've got, you'll see all of the bundles there to begin with. And the dies in all of those bundles can be purchased separately. You don't have to order them as a bundle. And then if you keep going over, so you'll see them all listed there, all those dies, 20% off. And then page 162, you see... Um, the additional dies that we have available, which are standalone products, or just put you can just purchase them on their own. And so, this is all of them here. There are so many of them. Now, some of them, um, some of your standard shapes, like your label type shapes, um, your frames, and things like that, they are great to have in your stash because you can use them for all of your sentiments and things like that. You can use them to put your um, focal images on, to stamp on, all those sorts of things. So they're great ones to have in your stash. So if you need any suggestions or any help with any of those products, feel free to let me know. But there is lots and lots to choose from. And the dies, getting a 20% discount on the dies is an awesome saving. So that is where you can find them in the catalogue. All right, let me show you what we are going to be creating today. So we're going back to an older um, stamp set today. It's, well, not an older stamp set. It's a beautiful stamp set, but it's been around for a little while. Um, but I thought it hadn't had any ink on it for a while. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to pull it back out and um, get some ink on it again. And this is the card that we're going to be making today. So this is my um, Timeless Tulips card and using the very vanilla and the um, granny apple green and I think that's granny apple green was it yes granny apple green I just second guessed myself then for a moment <laughs> um, granny apple green we've got a little bit of designer series paper there some gorgeous ribbon 
um, and we are using a punch today for the sentiment but if you had a label die you could certainly substitute this for one of the label dies um, or you could just cut a simple rectangle if you wanted to as well but this is the card that we're going to be making today nice quick simple easy card Thursdays I like to um, create quick and easy cards and so that is what I'm going to show you today all right so the stamp set we are using is the Timeless Tulip stamp set. Um, as I said, this one's been around for a little while and um, it's a really beautiful stamp set and you've got lots of greetings on there for lots of different occasions. Um, we've even got um, Easter um, sentiments on there, Mother's Day, Get Well, Happy Birthday, Hello, which is you can use for anything. And there's a beautiful one here, May the Memories of Yesterday Comfort You Today. So you can use it for sympathy cards as well. And then this one, this one says, What a beautiful difference one single life makes. So that's a beautiful one for friendship as well. So I love when you get a stamp set that has a range of um, sentiments for different occasions. It's really fantastic. All right, inks we're using today, we're using Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green and a little bit of Memento there as well for our sentiment. Okay, so they're the three colours that we're using today. We're going to be using the double oval punch for the sentiment label, but as I said, you can use some of your beautiful dies as well if you don't have the double oval punch. Then we're also going to be using some of the gorgeous sequins for everything. Now, if you haven't seen these in the embellishments, check these out. These are fantastic because look how many sequins you get. Great for shaker cards, great for embellishing, and you've got so many there. And there's actually different colors in, like you, you, you look at them and think, oh, well, they're, they're just all dark green. But there's dark green, there's light green, there's different um and these obviously coordinate with our Stampin' Up! colours. So we've got some um, soft sea foam in there as well. And there's different shapes. So there's circle ones, there's hexagon ones. This one's got your reds and pinks. This one's got silver gold and white. This one's got your oranges and yellows. So, but these ones um, go far. We use these ones quite a bit actually because you get so many in the pack. You get a total of... 3,600 individual sequins. So there you go. <laughs> so that's the sequins for everything. Um, and then the ribbon we're going to be using today is the gorgeous Fine Art Ribbon. And this one's got this beautiful gold metallic um, through it. We're going to be using that one today. Alrighty, so that's all the products that we're using today. Um, now, just to let you know, too, with the sale, with the ink pads, um, the third-party brand ink pads are not on as part of the sale. So that is your Memento, Versamark, and Stays On ink. Those ones aren't part of the sale. It's just the classic stamp pads that are on the sale, okay? So our, all of our collections of colours, they are the ones that will be on the sale. Alrighty. So great time to um, add to your collection of colours. All right, so I've already got my stamps already um, on the blocks that we're going to be using today. Oh, these ones are stuck. So we're using the large tulip, the stem, and um, the narrow leaf. And then we're using the happy birthday. So it's this one. Um the stem so the curved stem there's a curved stem and a straight stem in here but being that they're photopolymers as well you can um, they are flexible so you can um, bend them in different directions as well and then you've got the three shapes of leaf um, plus you've got the three heads of the, the tulip as well we're just using this one today and I think we're using the largest um, of the leaves all right Okie dokie, let's get started. So again, here's our card that we are making today. I've got all my bits and pieces already prepped and ready to go. So I'm going to give you all of the measurements. If you want to recreate this card yourself at home, you'll be able to do that. Alrighty, so let me tell you all of the Oops, there's a hair on my desk. Let me get rid of that. Um, I'll give you all of the dimensions of all of the pieces and then we'll get started. 
All right, so first of all, we've got a Granny Apple Green um, card base, and this time it's opening up like a tent fold. We call that a tent fold because when it stands up, it looks like a tent. Okay, like a, tra a traditional tent. Not that many tents look like that nowadays, but <laughs> so it's a tent fold. So it measures 29.7 centimeters long by 10.5 centimeters wide. And then we score and fold that at 14.85 centimeters. Okay. Then we've got our piece of very vanilla that we're going to be stamping on. And this one measures 10.5 centimeters by 13.85 centimeters. Then we've got a piece of um, the part the pattern party designer series paper. Now, if you don't have this paper, because this is a, um, a host stamp set, so if you host a party um, and with qualifying sales, you can purchase this. Or if you place an order over $250, then you can purchase um, this as well. And this, uh, it's, it's a really, really large pack of papers. And I don't have the whole pack of papers out at the moment, but this is where this one comes from. Um, but you can substitute this with any papers that would coordinate with the colors of ink that you're using. Because if you don't have the same colors of ink, you could change it up as well. So just whatever designer series paper you have that would coordinate. So this strip here is 10.5 centimeters by two centimeters. Then we've got the, um, we've got a piece of Melon Mambo for our um, sentiment um, frame. And this one is 10.5 centimeters by 3.5. And then our very vanilla that we're gonna stamp our sentiment onto is 10.5 by three centimeters. And our fine art ribbon is 11 centimetres and we're going to um, trim that down a little bit and uh, angle the end. And then we've got those sequins for everything. All right, so that is all of our pieces. So we're going to start with our stamping. So we'll pop all of those pieces off to the side, pop our card out of the way. And... I'll bring in my grid paper. Now today I'm using my stamp and pierce mat because we're going to be stamping with photopolymer stamps and it's because the photopolymer stamps don't have, um, because they're quite a firm stamp, they don't have much give in them. Like our red rubber stamps, they have the foam under them. These ones don't, so they just sit directly onto the block. And um, so it's good to have a little bit of cushioning under them and that gives us a nice um, finished stamped image. Okay, now this is a distinctive stamp set as well. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of um, small grid paper onto there to protect that. The, um, sorry, before I jump onto the back onto the stamp set, the stamp and pierce mat you can purchase in the annual catalog or in my online store. Okay, so it's called a Stampin' Pierce Mat. And the mini grid paper is also in the annual catalogue as well. All right, so we're going to start with our sentiment. Now, as I said, the images on this stamp set are um, distinctive stamps, are di are distinctive images, and that means that they've got more of a realistic photographic look to them. Um, and they've got all the different shading and opacities built into the actual stamped image, which is awesome, uh, which makes it really easy to stamp with because all the detail is there for you. Now, the images on the stamp set are only shown at 95%, so they're a little bit smaller than the actual size of the stamp, which you'll notice when you um, open the stamp case, and that's just so that they could fit them all in on the um, front of this, the um, in, uh, stamp case. So we're going to stamp our sentiment in Memento. I'll just move that other piece out of the way so we don't get black ink all over that. Okay, all right, so we've got our happy birthday. So just ink that up. And I'm going to stamp that down over sort of towards the right side because I want the left side to be sort of like my handle as I feed that into my punch. There we go. All right, I'll set that aside just to dry before I punch that out. And I'll give this one a little clean on my Simply Chamois. I love the Simply Chamois. It's such a good um, cleaning tool. All you have to do is add water and um, then it cleans your stamps beautifully. 
gets a little bit stained up over time but so long as you rinse it out every so often and um, release any of that excess ink that's sitting in it um, the staining doesn't affect its cleaning properties okay and now we'll bring in our large piece of very vanilla and as I said um, very vanilla is a great substitute for the basic white so at the moment Stampin' Up! is having um, a little bit of an issue with supply of the basic white because of all of the um, the shipping issues and um, things like that because of the all the COVID restrictions overseas so um, using the very vanilla is a great alternative if you can't get your hands on the um, the basic white because it did come in it was on back order it did come in and then it all got snapped up pretty quickly and now with the sale um, it's all gotten snapped up again so all right so we're using melon mambo so yes the the whisper white currently uh, sorry basic white is currently unavailable but um, the very vanilla is available so that's pretty good all right so we're going to stamp three tulips but we're going to stamp them over towards the left hand side okay so we're going to give that a nice firm press there we go now one little tip when you're using distinctive stamps you don't want your ink pad to be too too inky because what will happen is if your ink pad is too juicy too inky or as we say too juicy it'll put too much ink on the surface of your stamp so you'll lose all the definition in the distinctive stamp so it's um, a great idea not to have it too, too juicy. If it feels like it, it is too juicy, what you can do is use um, an old bone folder. If you've got one of the, the, old, the um, Stampin' Up! bone folders, if you've got an old one that's getting a bit mucky, you could use that. Or you can use the back of a spoon, a plastic spoon, and just gently scrape the surface of your stamp a, little, uh, a few times. And what that does is it pushes the ink down into the stamp pad so it's not sitting right on the surface and then it won't be too juicy for you for your distinctive stamps okay so i'm going to give this one a clean straight away um, you'll see that this one has gone a little bit pink and that's because the pigments in um, especially this one the melon mambo are very very strong and the pigments can stain your photopolymer stamps a little bit but don't worry, it doesn't affect the, um, the stamping quality of your stamp. It'll still stamp perfectly. It'll just be a pretty color. Instead of being clear, it'll be a little bit pink. See, I've given that a clean and that's still a little bit pink. Now I might give that one a little bit of a clean with my Stampin' Mist and, and on my Stampin' Scrub, which is uh, another cleaning tool. Um, and that'll give a slightly deeper cleaner than what the um, the chamois does because I've used the solution on it as well. And that'll get a little bit more of that pigment out. But at least I've got the surface ink off there for now. So, um, so that's really good. All right, so we've got our beautiful tulip stamped. Now we're going to stamp the stems. Now you can do the stems up um, different ways. As I said, this one's got a bit of a curve on it already. So you can choose which direction you want to have your stems going. All right, so now we are using the Granny Apple Green. So I'm just going to ink that stem up. And I'm going to line that up with my... I've got to get my head in here. So sorry if I get my head in camera for a moment while I just line that up. There we go so there's our first one there's another good reason to have scrap paper or grid paper underneath you so that you can stamp off the page and not be worried that it's going to get the ink is going to get onto your desk okay and we'll line up that one there we go and now i'm going to just turn it up the other way and use the other end of it and i'm going to curve this one this one here the stem is going to curve in the opposite direction There we go, beautiful. All right, so we'll stamp off the excess ink and we'll give that one a clean. Now I'll leave the granny apple green ink open because we're going to use that for our leaves as well. There we go, that one came nice and clean. The um, granny apple green doesn't stain up as much as the pink and red pigments. 
And then we've got our leaves. So now you can just go crazy with your leaves and stamp them where you like. And we are just going to fill in with some of these gorgeous leaves. You can turn it around the other way. And you can pretty much just put these wherever you like and just fill in those spaces. Whoops, that one didn't quite meet, but that's okay. I'm going to put the sentiment there, so that's all good. This one I'm going to have going off there. And we'll have some over here as well. There we go. So a little story for you. I went for a walk yesterday with um, Amber. We went walking around our estate and we don't go walking very often, but um, both of us have got extremely sore muscles today. <laughs> so <laughs> we're not walking. We're not, we, we don't walk very often. And so we're, we're obviously not very fit, but also too, our estate is a little bit hilly and we walked down well, we walked up some of the hills actually, which is why we have sore legs today. Um, so yes, so we're both hobbling around a little bit today, which is pretty funny because it wasn't even, like we probably only walked about a kilometre, if that. Um, we were out walking for, we were doing letterbox drops, so we kind of were, you know, stopping and starting, not walking consistently. And we were walking for probably about 30 or 40 minutes, but in total, we probably only walked about a kilometre. But some of that was uphill, and I think it was the uphill that got us. And, um, yeah, just our muscles didn't like it. <laughs> we're not used to it. They're not used to it. They're like, what's happening? What is this? What's this exercise thing? <laughs> So I think we need to walk a bit more often. <laughs> oh, thank you, Fee. Love these stamps. Yes, the, the um, timeless tulips are gorgeous. All right, so we're going to punch our sentiment and we're just using the plain oval for the actual sentiment. And then that strip of the Malamambo that we had, we're going to punch the scalloped oval. There we go. All right. Okay, so now we've got all of our pieces ready to go and we can start layering up this card. It's a really easy card to put together. Okay, so we've got our beautiful tulips there. So I wanted to have them. Now, if you wanted to have them centered, you could center them, but I wanted to just have it off to the left side this time, just have everything moved over a little bit. In fact, I've probably stamped this one a little bit more over to the right to what I had the original card and I'll compare them at the end. Um, but yeah, just wanted to sort of have it offset a little bit this time, just for a little bit of added interest. Okay, so we'll just add some um, adhesive to the back here. So you can use, I'm using um, Stamp and Seal, which is a tape runner. You could use um, tear and tape, which is a double-sided tape, or you could use your multi-purpose liquid glue. Whichever glue you choose to use is totally fine. Now, this time, this one is going to have um, a bit of a border, top and bottom, but it's lining up side to side with that cardstock, with that granny apple green cardstock. Okay. So that's a way that you can get a nice border, but you're not adding too many layers. So there you go. And then let's just add our designer series paper. So we'll again use a little bit of our adhesive on the back there. Oh. And we're gonna pop that down here. And pop that about there. Popping this one down a little bit lower than what I did the first one. Oh, actually, I've got to cover up that leaf, didn't have an eye where I didn't quite get that leaf attached to the, to the, um, what do you call it? To the stem, that's the word. <laughs> oh, I'm losing my words today. It was so funny last night, Amber and I were trying to prepare um, for a class. She helps me cut my kits for class. And so we were doing it together last night. I'm just gonna check that I've got this lined up correctly 1.2 1.2 yeah um 
and oh my goodness, we were both so exhausted. We couldn't talk properly. <laughs> we were trying to, we were, not we were not communicating very well at all last night. We just were both so tired. Um, I think the walking had a big effect on us more than what we realised. <laughs> I think that means we need to walk more often. <laughs> so I'm just cutting one end at a bit of an angle. And just working out the length that I want to have that I actually want to have that over a bit further. I'm going to use my mini glue dots to attach my ribbon. So let's pop down some glue dots onto the back of this ribbon. So there's one and oh, it's sticking to me now. Two, three and four i think my my ribbon is going to go off the edge a little bit because i'm going to want to trim it down i think i've got it a little bit too long i want it to go about there i'm going to have it up towards the top of my um towards the top of my paper so it's not it's not centered either towards the top of my designer series paper try and get that straight there we go and I'll just flip that over and trim off that little bit of excess ribbon there there we go uh oh didn't trim that very well that started to fray there we go all right now the rest shouldn't fray because it's got a glue dot under there that'll keep it in place okay so pop that in the bin all right, so now what we'll do is we will layer up our sentiment. Oh, let me just use some liquid glue for that. I love using liquid glue when I'm doing my sentiments that layer um, on on a, what, what, oh, I can't, see, I can't even talk today. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what's happening. So it has the same shape basically and you need to line it up. So I like the liquid glue because you can slide that around. It gives you a little bit of wiggle time and you can slide that around and get that lined up nicely where you want it before you adhere it down tightly. There we go. Good. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a couple of dimensionals and I'm just going to use some of the... Um, these are the edge pieces from the mini dimensionals because we don't want to waste them. They are great to use. And then you can also cut them to the size that you want, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to cut some of these edge pieces because we want to use them. We don't want to waste them. That'd be a waste of money. And I'm going to just use some of these little pieces to pop on the back here to use to pop this up. So we're going to pop our little sentiment up. So that it's not sitting flat because everything else is flat and so we need we need a little bit of dimension i like to have a little bit of dimension in my cards there we go all right so we'll just use our take your pick tool i've got my paper piercing tool on the end there and just flick those little covering backing papers off the back of our dimensionals There we go and then we're ready to pop that down so we're going to pop it over here now you can center it if you want to or you can pop it up a little bit i think i'm going to center this one a bit more um, the first one i had i popped it up a bit higher but this time i'm going to center it a bit more there we go i think it sits better that way all right and now we'll bring in some of our beautiful sequins for everything and we'll pop down a few gold sequins so let me check my comments. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Oh, you've received several cards with this set, Megan. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's a lovely set. Um, 
Oh, Megan said, oh, because I was talking about me losing my words. Megan said, welcome to my world. When I have a migraine, you would swear I'd had a stroke as my whole left side paralyzes and speaking is not possible without slurring. Oh, that's not nice, Megan. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, dear. Um, okay, so we are just going to bring out some of these little gold. You know what? I'm going to do is use my take your pick tool and I'm going to use the putty end because this is what this is great for push that putty down a bit we've got a bit much oozing out there and this putty is great for picking up your sequins there we go I think we only just want three so I've got three there pop the lid straight back on those because you do not want those going everywhere believe me they are messy Okay, so now we can pick up our um, sequins and we can pop them down. I'm going to use a little bit of the glue and we'll pop them down. Let's see, I'll pop one up here and I'm just dabbing a little bit of glue where I want to put the sequins. One there and let's pop one down here as well. So just little dabs of glue. You don't want too much because this glue does ooze. And then we can just simply pop our sequins. So we're picking them up. Oh, got to make sure that they're up the right way though. We want the concave up, concave, concave side up. That's it. There we go. Oh, that's up the wrong way. And there. There we go. So that is our card finished. So let's bring in the original one. So there you go. So see, nice and quick and easy, really simple card to put together. Um, and, you know, you have a beautiful card. They don't have to be complicated. I think sometimes, like I do like, to be honest, I do like a lot of layers and a lot of detail on my cards and things like that. But you absolutely don't have to. So if you're new to card making or you prefer um, you prefer a clean and simple design, something like this is so easy to do. You, and you're only using a minimal amount of products. You don't need to use a whole heap. Um, and there you've got a beautiful card to send to somebody. So you can see I've done them a little bit differently on the second one to the first one, um, which is great because each card is individual then. I didn't add as many leaves down the bottom here. I've moved my sentiment a little bit. Stamped these ones down a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, it's still a beautiful card. So there you go. Okay, so what do you think? Do you like that? Is that nice and quick and easy? Oh, Megan says she's a simple stamper. Yep, less layers, the more she likes it. Oh, there you go. Angela says that um, her mum and her two, two children suffer with migraines as well. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. No good at all. Yeah, migraines are terrible, aren't they? We are migraine sufferers in this family as well. Well, one of my daughters, myself, and my other daughter, she actually has a different type. She has something called vestibular migraine. So she doesn't actually get the headache part of it, but she gets the vertigo. Um, and she had to go through a big battery of tests to get that um, diagnosis because um, they couldn't, they tried so many different things to try and work out what was going on with her. She had surgeries and all sorts of things. But yeah, it's a different type of migraine, but it's in the same family. So there you go. All right. Well, I will flip the camera up. Now, oh, before I do, let me remind you. The cardstock, the very vanilla cardstock is currently available. I checked before I went online. So if you want to pop the very vanilla cardstock, remember it is 10% discount at the moment. And this one that I used is Granny Apple Green. Um, and then we've got the Melon Mambo here as well. So remember the cardstock is 10% off at the moment in the seasonal sale. If you want to pop any of that, um, uh, pop an order in for any of that and get that discount at the moment. The ink pads are 15% off. And remember the dies, which I didn't use dies today, but um, I did use a whole stack of dies on Monday. If you missed my Monday Facebook Live, 
um, or video if you're watching this on YouTube be sure to check that out with the pierced blooms dies um, that was a really great project and I used lots and lots of dies on that one not just the one set so check out those specials um, today's the last day 18th of November um, the seasonal sale will be finishing today all right well I will pop the camera back up so that I can say goodbye to you face to face so let me get that ready here we go oh squeaky squeaky all right now I don't think I flipped yet there we go good and we're back just adjust my lights there we go and I'll hold up that card so that you can all have another look and I can get a little snapshot it's pretty hey I love that stamp set I've actually had a lot of use of that stamp set I've had that one for a while there's my other one I've had that one for a while and um, I've used it many times it's a beautiful set I hope you like it too so there you go so there's another idea so um, remember to bring out your old stamp sets as well and get some ink on them as well don't leave them on the shelf um, use them and um, yeah get get some ink on them if you haven't used them for a while go through your there's a little challenge for you go through your stamp sets see what you've got there um, see what hasn't had any ink for a while pull them out have a little play with them alrighty now just to let you know I won't be going live next Monday um, our puppy has got her big girl surgery next week very sad um, so we I won't be live because it's happening on that day um, but I will be back hopefully if all things go well with her and she's doing okay I'll be back again next Thursday um, if not I'll pop a notification up so that everybody knows um, but yeah I look forward to seeing you next time so we're nearly up to the weekend have a great weekend everybody remember to take advantage of the seasonal sale get yourself some bargains remember that if you're shopping in my online store use my host code so that I can send you a thank you gift and remember that at the moment during the month of November we have the start with savings promotion so the starter kit has been reduced to hundred and thirty dollars for that $130, you can choose $235 worth, $235 worth of product here in Australia and still only pay $130 for it when you join my team. So be sure to check that out. Send me a message or an email if you need to ask me any questions. You can find all of my contacts up in the link. I'll also add them to the description of this video as well, both here on Facebook and on YouTube as well. So have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you so much for being with me today. Um, love having you here. Love chatting with you. Oh, thank you, everyone. Everyone's saying that they love my card. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm glad that you enjoyed that. And I hope that that has give you, given you a little bit of creative inspiration today to um, get some crafting done yourself. So until, every, uh, until next time, everyone, I will see you soon. So happy crafting. Bye.